Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect steak. Yes, perfect steak. Now a lot of times people get really intimidated and don't know exactly what to do so they automatically run to the restaurant or local steakhouse. Well you know what? Now we have an end to that. And just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. Now the only thing we're really going to have to do to this steak is season it properly. Just enhance the flavor that it already has. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper goes a long way. There is no need for any tricky techniques in this, just salt and pepper. And the only real technique that you need to do is make sure that you season it evenly. So press it in, make sure that all of it's adhered to it. A little bit more on top, on this fat cap, which is going to taste delicious, of course, after it's cooked. Pepper as well, and a little bit on its sides. There we go. So what I like to do after I season my steak, I like to allow it to set a good 10 minutes before I put it in the pan. It's just going to allow the osmosis of the salt and pepper just infusing into the steak. It's going to add a lot more flavor, penetrating in. There we go, let that set. So this right here, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the steak. Not inside of the cast iron pan, but on the steak. And um, this cast iron pan is on full heat. Let it get smoking hot, as hot as it's going to be. And the beauty of cooking in cast iron is that it's going to retain the heat while cooking it, opposed to in a saute pan of any other form. There we are. And now, just quite simply, grab that fat cap side down. There we are. And just let this sear until you get a nice little golden color on that fat cap. So that's about 30 seconds of a sear. And you can see we have some color, so now 30 seconds. This is going to be a special technique. Every 30 seconds, I'm going to flip this steak from one side to the other side. Okay, set your timer and stand there and watch this steak. 30 seconds it comes by, we flip it over. Okay, and we don't have a lot of color on it just yet, but in time of flipping it and searing it, it's just going to get so much flavor and it's going to cook so evenly. There's another 30 seconds, so we flip it again. Let it sear, 30 seconds has passed, you flip it once again. Make sure that you flip the steak away from yourself so none of the oil or fat splats back to you. Once again, flip it, 30 seconds have passed. You see how much more color that we're getting? Look at this. That flavor is just going to add up. Nice. Now the beauty of cooking it and flipping it every 30 seconds is the fact that it's going to cook it so evenly. It's so, so even. So right now the top is resting while the bottom is searing. And then this is just going to give it enough time so that when we flip it over, the same thing is going to happen all over again. It's a nice even rotation of the heat. And once again, flipping it away from ourselves. Now personally, I really enjoy cooking in cast iron. It's just one of these things of all the flavors gaining and adding up. And look at that color on top of that. It is talking about flavor. And the most amazing thing about cooking in cast iron is the fact that I can just hand it down from generation to generation. Now that this steak is ready, it's a one pound steak, cooked me about eight minutes of flipping. Let's just toss some garlic cloves in there. And then after the garlic cloves, what we can do is toss a little bit of butter in as well. See this? It's just going to smoke up and oh yeah, this is going to add so much flavor on top of it. There we are. So. Now, this steak is pretty much done cooking. We're just going to add this butter to cook a little bit of this garlic and just infuse a little bit more flavor into it. So, once again, salt, pepper, steak, butter, a little bit of garlic. And if you have any herbs right now, feel free to toss them in at the moment. You know, parsley, thyme, rosemary, it all add up. And just baste it a few times. And since this steak cooked, took me eight minutes to cook, I'm going to allow it to rest four minutes. So whatever your cooking time is, allow the steak to rest half of that cooking time so that all the juices can relax and add into it. There we are. Now that our perfect steak is resting, what I like to do is make a compound butter. And what this is going to consist of is equal parts room temperature butter and borsin cheese. So once again, if you guys haven't had borsin cheese, put that on your bucket list. It's amazing. It's going to add a really nice roasted garlic, goat cheese, sour cream flavor to it. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's honestly one of my favorites. 
and just quite simply give this a nice little mix together and there we have it. It's just too easy, isn't it? Alright, now that we have this set aside, our steak is all cut, let's plate it up. So, put a few slices right here and see how even that cooking is? No ring. It's all evenly pink. It's beautiful. That's the beauty of cooking with the 30 second flipping technique. And let's just add a little dollop of our Borson cheese butter. Well folks, there you have it. I'm really, really excited to share with you how to make the perfect steak at home so you no longer have to run to the steakhouse. Here's the recipe as following and I'm really excited to hear how all your steaks turned out and give me some feedback. Let me know if you have another technique. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.